Okay guys, happy Saturday. I am on my way headed to the gym. It's been two days since I've been to the gym and um, not strange because sometimes I do take breaks, but this was kind of unexpected. I got sick, well not sick, but had a stomach ache for a couple of days so it had me down for for a little bit but i'm back and um i feel a little better better than i did the past couple of days so i am grateful for that um but basically i just came on to just say yesterday um as i was going to the walmart to get some stuff for um, my stomach my car wouldn't stop start and I was like okay my car is pretty new um, I just got my brakes and rotors done and um, everything seemed like it was running smoothly the, you know before the, the last time that I drove it so I thought it maybe was the battery in my in my um, my key fob that was dead. So last time that happened, I just had to replace the battery. So nothing would start, and the dashboard had like a key, and it was blinking. So I just assumed maybe it was the key. The key was dead. So I was going to proceed to walk to the nearest place but I didn't know if they would sell key fobs so I didn't even want to waste my time so I called my dad and I told him and I sent him a picture of how my old one looked and he went to CVS and he brought it so we tried and tried and tried I had two keys so I tried to put the new batteries in both keys and it still wouldn't start so I'm looking around and at this point I'm getting frustrated because I'm like I'm already don't feel good I just wanted to go go to Walmart get some stuff so I can go back in the house and now my car won't start and so my dad he just kept on saying like you know just be grateful and all things be grateful and I'm like thinking in my head like how can I be grateful in this moment when I feel like I feel sick and then this happened all of a sudden. So we tried and tried with the key file, flipping it and putting it in a certain direction. Still didn't work. So he said, maybe you need to jump. So he pulled his car around and he put the cables on my car first. Then he put them on his and everything just started blinking and going off and it started working. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, is my battery dead? My battery is pretty new. It's not even a year old to my understanding. So he was like, maybe it's your ignition, but don't worry about it right now. Because sometimes the, not the ignition, but the um, alternator can drain the battery if the alternator is bad. So um, he was like, you sure you didn't leave like a light on or, or something in the you know where they put the uh cigarette lighter and i'm like no not to my understanding i'm usually pretty much don't have any lights i don't even have the lights like when you open the door and the light come on i turn that off so that don't come on so i was like no i know i didn't leave nothing on i know i didn't leave nothing plugged up but i said i i you know i gave you guys that story just to give you a scenario of life and the unexpected things that we you know endure and when my dad said you know and all things give thanks and um at the time i i couldn't really say thank you god for like that didn't make sense to me like thank you god for allowing me to have a stomach ache and my car don't work <laughs> you know it didn't make sense at the time but 
of course, you know, once everything got up and running, and I was just like, thank you, Jesus. I was like, thank you, Jesus, because my dad, you know, he stopped doing what he had to do to come and help me. And throughout that time, he didn't say, you know, he didn't kind of blame me. He just suggested, like, maybe you kept a light on. He didn't blame me for anything. He just basically was like, um, basically he was there to help. And, I, and that's how God is, you know. He's always there no matter um, what situation or what trials and tribulations that we seem to get into. Or even if it's not, you know, something that we intended you know god is always there you know to rescue us to save us and sometimes to help us understand that you know it's not on our own doing you know sometimes it takes for us to pray our way through some things sometimes it's not the amount of money or the amount of uh influence or the people that you know or the connections that you have that's going to get you out of a certain situation sometimes it's simply going to god you know and and praying or just going to god period because we think we can do it on our own and um you know sometimes god just wants you to acknowledge him and be grateful and when he do you know pull you out a certain thing just give praise to him and not to the person that he sent or not to the thing or the person he used to help you do a thing give it pra give praise to god because he was the one you know who laid it on this person's heart to bless you to help you and to help you get through so um yeah that was pretty much what happened to me yesterday today i said like i said i'm on my way to the gym I feel better and um yeah it's just that's life you know you just never know what could happen and you don't know why it happened but it's happening for a reason count it all joy and all things count it all joy because at the end of the day it's something he's trying to prune out of you it's something he's trying to help you to understand um, whether that's more patience or um, trust, trusting in him, trusting in his plan, trusting that he got you, whatever it is, he is trying to instill something in you and unfortunately, you know, we think it's a punishment when we go through things, but it's not, it's not a punishment, it's, it's for us to give God glory, so I hope this story and this message bless somebody that even when you're going through, even though in that moment you like how I was, count it all joy, be grateful. If God can pull you through it, you know, and give you the strength to get through it, count it all joy. So talk to you guys again. Thanks for talk tell thanks for tuning in. So another Zoe Talks.